Every now and then, something comes along in our lives that reminds us of the fact that we are not in charge. No matter what your status is, no matter what you have or what you own, there will come a time when life reminds you that you're not in control. You're actually not as strong as you thought you were. You're not as prepared as you thought you were. And in fact, life tends to come and remind us that we are far more vulnerable than we had ever dreamed. And I believe this is why 1 Corinthians 10, verse 12, it says, Therefore let the one who thinks he stands firm, immune to temptation, being overconfident and self-righteous, take care that he does not fall into sin and condemnation. And so we need to have some humility in our lives. If things are well with you, then praise be to God. But don't look down at others who are struggling. No one is immune to the troubles of life. The most prayerful Christian you know has their own personal battles. The nicest person you've met, that person who always has a smile on their face, that person also has their own challenges. But dear listener, let me tell you this. Regardless of the burden you're facing, regardless of the struggle you're in, the Lord has you on his heart. God has promised to be with you no matter what happens to you. The Lord has said, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. So if you're timid or afraid, then take heart. The Lord has said, he will never leave you. If you're ashamed of your sin, if you find yourself feeling bad or remorseful, repent and take heart. God will never leave you. If you feel unqualified, take heart. God will never leave you. Listen, you can rest in this. This promise is true today and tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and all the days after that. You and I cannot outlive God's mercy. We cannot outlive the promises of God. They will always outlive us because His Word, it stands true forever. I want you to understand that the Lord is merciful indeed. He's faithful and He's righteous and He's always good. He understands our pain and He really wants to lift our burdens. The Lord gives us the strength to carry on through those moments when we think we can't. So right here in this moment, raise your faith. Reach out to Jesus. Trust Him. Embrace Him. Hold on to His Word. Cast your cares on Him because He loves you ever so deeply. If you are worried about something, the remedy is the Word of God. If you are fearful about something, the antidote is the Word of God. If you are anxious about anything, anything at all, the cure is the Word of God. All in all, as you get to know God's Word, you get to know God's voice. As you get to know God's voice, you'll know that fear and worry are not from God. Jesus Christ said, do not be anxious about your life. And I believe he said this because one of the biggest enemies you will ever face will come in the form of worry and anxiety. And in life, I'm sure we can all agree that there will be things in your control that you'll worry about. There'll be things that are out of your control that you'll worry about. And while it is so easy to fall in a state of worry. In one of his teachings, Jesus gave us the message that we should not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. And I believe that the Lord was telling us to be present in the moment. Be at peace today. Be joyful today. If you spend your time and energy worrying, 
then you will always magnify the lack in your life or the pain in your life. But should you instead choose to adopt a new attitude where you do not worry about tomorrow, an attitude where you're thanking the Lord for today, you're thanking God for His goodness, even while you're waiting on your miracle, you're thanking God for what He has provided, even though there are things you lack. When you do this, then you magnify Jesus Christ instead of your problem. But here's what the Bible says in Matthew 6, verse 25 to 27. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? I believe that the Lord wants us to stop worrying, to stop pondering and wondering about what might happen tomorrow. Stop spending your effort and your energy by thinking about what could happen tomorrow, or even that what should happen. You are blessed in this very moment and on this day. One pastor said, don't borrow trouble, which means don't worry about all of the what ifs we could face someday. What if there is a health crisis, a financial setback, or even this type of problem? Don't borrow trouble from the future, but instead walk by faith and not by sight. So I encourage you today to stay present with the Lord. Stay present in your mind and in your soul by acknowledging Psalm 118 verse 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Regardless of the burden you're facing, regardless of the struggle you're in, the Lord has you on His heart. God has promised to be with you no matter what happens to you. The Lord has said, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. 